hey guys how you doing what's up everyone i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are safe i want to just get right into uh these love messages for the water signs we are going to spill the tea we're going to break down this tarot see what's going on i have some oracle as well i do want to call the holy spirit to guide me and bring in clarity and bring in uh the, you know the most love and loving messages that we can i don't know what messages are going to come out but i did do some channeling messages for the water sign and what i got for you guys was more flirting uh things a little bit lighter more playful the water signs right now you guys are more focused on yourself right but we're in february uh, February 2nd, 2022, Cats That Wave, Cats That Portal, that is partnership, all right? And you know what? That could be partnership within yourself. That could be the love that you're giving yourself, right? All right, so, so we're going to just clear this energy. Guys, thank you for being here. Like, hit the notification button, subscribe to YouTube so, you know, you can... um get more more videos this is a love and healing channel i am the empress of love i want to bring it i want to bring it all right kind of rocking been doing a lot of pink lately been in that pink energy the heart chakra energy the love frequency and we are in the month of february with all of that love around us right but you got to give that love to yourself first. So I was just hearing playfulness and a lot of flirting. And there is, this, <laughs> there is nothing wrong with that. You guys may not want to be settled down right now. You're enjoying being single. Some of you guys are enjoying being celibate. That might change this month. <laughs> it's like breaking a diet. Is it like breaking a diet? I'll celebrate for a week and then I'm okay. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna get into it too much like that, but I do have the oracles. All right. Oh. All right. So we have the five of swords coming out. You guys could be dealing with with an air sign. You can have air signs in in your chart. All right. So I will call out signs um, as as I see them. All right. Don't get stuck on the signs and please take what resonates, leave, leave what doesn't. Then we have the, the nine of wands. I was getting playful. I heard playful. I heard flirting. This ain't playful or flirting, but if you left somebody, if you broke up with somebody, this is the energy that they in because you are on a whole like, kind of relieved that you are no longer with this person and they are the ones that is in some wounded energy they ready to put down some swords and they want to come and tell you the truth listen the retrograde is over today is the second right so the retrograde is over so if they didn't say it before they don't need to come and say it now you are living your best life water signs pisces scorpio and cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. If I keep flipping that around, I'm still talking about the water signs. Y'all know that. Okay. Then we got the Six of Pentacles. So, oh man, this month, this is really feeling like some past issue. You know what? That is so, it's not cool when somebody had you or was with you. They didn't see you. They didn't appreciate you. They didn't honor you. They didn't nurture you. They didn't give to you. And then y'all break up. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. And you are living your best life. You are glowing. Your money is right. New opportunities are happening for you. You moving like, oh, I just heard. You are moving so unbothered at this time. But the six, six of Pentacles, they're wanting to bring some things back into black balance. So somebody might be coming to you for some closure. Whether you want to deal with that or not, I mean, we all have free will. But so love, love reading, love messages. Oh, and I don't even know how that got turned over like that. Three of Swords. 
Water signs, I'm gonna need to know whose heart did y'all break? I mean, you can have the broken heart, but nah, y'all broke somebody's heart. Y'all broke somebody's heart. Oh man. Somebody is feeling it right now. You don't even, you may not even know. You may not even know. You don't even have a clue that this is what's going on. I need to turn these over. I don't know how these cards are flipping. Wow. Okay. I'm just going to go fast because these all came out. So we have the world card. Yeah. So there was an ending. There was, there was a breakup and you were just looking at things forward. You do not, you do not want no ex. So this probably is not, this probably, if you are here and you're a water sign and, you know, um, you're in a good relationship and everything's working out, this just might not be for you. If you want to look at one of the other love, you know, uh, videos, the love readings, if those is in your chart, you know, check that out. But we have the tarot. I'm sorry. The chariot. This is tarot. We have the um, chariot. So they are wanting, somebody is wanting to get back with you. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it literally is just ringing. You, it, this could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Or this could be a Cancer that I'm also seeing. We have the Knight of Wands. So this person was in their player energy. Like I said, that's what I was hearing. Okay, so they was not, they wasn't really taking you for, you know, man or woman. They wasn't taking it either seriously or they did not, you know, they took you for granted. They took you for granted. This could have been somebody you grew up with or this could have been somebody um, that you went to high school or college with. You know, but they wanted to be on that playboy energy, playgirl energy. And once you walked, something about you, you grew up, you got mature, you know, you got, you got into your bag, you got into, you got into something. I don't want to say bitchy because if you could have been like that really, really nice or very soft spoken, I'm hearing you are now like a beast and, and, and changing that frequency changing like that now this person wants to be with you and they want to holler at you i'm not feeling like you really want to i mean you may you may if this you know if this person gets uh, a chance or opportunity to speak to you mm. got my magical creature my unicorn all right so we have the angel this is the Angel Romance or Oracle, I believe it's called. I'm just going to spread it. Save us a little bit of time. Messages, messages, messages. And there it goes. Thank you, Spirit. Playfulness. That was the channel message that I was getting for you guys. You guys are not with the fuckery. You guys, whoever this wankster was, is... Oh my God, they feel so fucking stupid. They are, they are very regretful. But the funny thing is you don't even know. You don't even know. You may know, but you don't care. You don't even care. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner child spirit uh, of to have fun and to shine. And you know what? That's what you were doing. You like. I don't care if it's winter time. I don't care if it's Valentine's Day. I'm going to do me. I'm going to go take myself to the spa. I'm going to go get my own chocolates. I'm going to go get my own flowers. You know, <laughs> Do a little bit of shopping, taking care of you. I'm here for it. I love it. You are in this playful energy. Again, whether you are a man or a woman. And this unbothered energy has this person... They, 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 oof. Mm. Am I taking my lashes off? They are really all, their panties or their underwears is in the bunch. I don't know if you can say it like that, but they spin in circles. Okay, let me, let me go forward to see. I'll start just talking. 
Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmation, and visual visualization help bring you together. So you are just, again, your soulmate is going to be coming to you because you're having this perspective. Well, if that person wasn't my person, right? That means I'm just closer to my person, but you're not, you know, you're not, um, rushing or you're not fiend out you're not fiend out to be with somebody just to be with somebody right you're gonna have fun during the time and by you being out and this new energy that is on you this persona this aura this swag this sexiness that you got oh i'm really liking um this water for the water signs okay now I'm going to get from the sex tarot, get you guys two cards. Mm. So this is for the, for the month of February. All right. So you guys have the nine of swords. You had the nine of wands. Now you have the nine of swords. This, oh my goodness. This person is really, really stuck on you. This person feels stuck on I want to keep cursing. This person feels stuck stuck on effing stupid. And I'm sorry. I don't mean to be laughing at them. But like they're reading your texts. They're looking at your pitches. They're really like, what did I miss? So you know what? Their problem, not yours. We're moving on. We're moving on. That's what it is. And then you have the king of cups. I don't know. Listen, I mean, if, if if you guys was in love with this person and this person comes to you differently and now they are showing you what they're showing you, I don't know if in the beginning you might have a little bit of resentment like, why now? Why did it take for me to be like this? So so I don't know what this change was. You know, sometimes when 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 the universe forces things on us, it makes us change, right? Because sometimes we're too comfortable with being how we are. But uh, this this person has a lot of romance for you. But I'm also hearing because the calling in your soulmate that this is a new this is some this is a new uh, romance that that's coming in. This person may be a little different from from what you're used to. You know, um, and, and that's, that's, you know, that's a good thing, right? And ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And then we have the Hidden Truth Oracle. All right. And then we can wrap this up. The love reading for the water signs. I wish I had treated you better. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm not sorry. This, this person is... This is a pathetic person. Okay. Um, mm. They wish that they treated you better. That, it's sad that it, when it has to be like that. All right. Scorpios, Cancer, and Pisces. I think I switched it around. But anyway, I'm starting to understand our connection. <laughs> so they understand it after you're gone. All right. All right, guys. Do what you will with this one. Leave. Listen, I am very intuitive with my psychic abilities. Some of these, this, you may not be resonating with this right now. Please try coming back a week, two weeks. Let me know. Leave a comment. Leave an emoji. If 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 you really didn't like it and I triggered you, dislike, dislike it. It's for the algorithm of this channel. But for those of you who do, I appreciate you. Those that have been here with me from day one, this is a new channel. And, you know, this is my passion, being able to, um, you know, give love, being able to give any type of healing is my mission and is, is what I am here for. All right. So until next time, see you later, guys. Peace.